Hello guys, in this class, I'm not teaching. So sit down, let's discuss. We're going to discuss a very sensitive topic. And this is a topic that is really going to help you. And it's going to, um, it's going to shape on your life. One right information in the right direction makes you go higher. Are you seeing that? One right information. So in this class or in this discussion section, we'll be talking about the best selling courses to apply in the medical field in this year jam. The best selling courses to apply in the medical field. That's why the medical field so that you will know the differences, so that you will not make mistakes. So that for those of you that have plans on traveling, you should know, okay, what am I apply, applying and what is the usefulness? Now, let's get to class. Now, I'll start by telling you that the medical field is, is broken down into the three levels. Or we can categorize the medical field into three levels. Number one, we have what we call the word the clinicals. Are you seeing that? This has to do with pure clinical theories, uh, clinical um, uh, Clinical, clinical attention. Now that doesn't mean other courses don't do it. Don't uh, don't do with clinicals, but these ones are what are different because they are more. Number two, we have to call the word the ally. The word ally talk about friends, talk about um, um, those that work with the word with the clinicals. And number three, we have what we call the word the basic word medical. So that these are the three categories. I'm going to explain each of them one after the other. So we have the clinicals, we have the allied medicals, and we have the word. The basic medicals. Let's start with the first guy, which is called the clinicals. Now, when we talk about the clinicals, we are referring to two major causes. The first, your medicine and surgery, and number two is what to call your word, your dentistry and your dental word surgery. Now, tip note that the first thing to know about these courses is that they are very competitive. Competitive in the sense that we have applicants applying for them. So let's say, for example, medicine and surgery, we can have like four thousand students applying to a particular university. And the highest they can take is what is 200. Some investors quota are 150. So some of the investors we are applying to because, because no uh, investors have more than a quota of more than 200. It's not possible. So quotas are within 200. Highest 250. I've not even seen any investors of that. The highest quota is what is 200. But there are some with 150. There are some with 100. Especially um, uh, some universities it can be private. Some can be 100. Some coming what fifth. So they're going to take about two, let's say 200 students out of 4,000. That means about 3,800 we have to take another jam. Are you seeing that? So that population is much. So they are, it is very competitive. Now, but that doesn't mean that um, because it is competitive, it has a high value because uh, the, the job opportunity is there, traveling abroad is there. And so on and so forth. Why another cause is what we call your words, your dentistry, where dentistry is competitive, but not as competitive as what as medicine and surgery. Because in a country like Nigeria, how many people are actually going to remove their teeth or going for dental surgery? You know, uh, but if you're going to practice outside the country, wow, this scalability is very high. Do you understand? And one thing about dentistry is that they don't collect much. Some schools uh, quota for dentistry are like 50 or 80, some 100. Are you seeing that? Unlike medicine. So you only see a squibble collecting 100. Most quota are 50, 80, 50, 80. That's 50 students to, to graduate. Are you seeing that? Because that's the every body, every course has a regulatory body. So that's the regulatory body for that course. Are you seeing that? So medicine and surgery, um, dentistry and dental surgery, these courses are what are highly competitive. That is why if you must read medicine and surgery or read any of this, you have to be on a scale of 300 plus. When we we'll talk about the 300 plus, I'm not referring to 301 or 302 because a lot of people are going to have that score. If you have 301, 302, 305, you are, your chances of getting these courses are still slim because you're going to see students that are going to come with what? With 320, 330, 340, 350. Are you seeing that? So you don't want to break your chances. So you have to be at the top of the game. That's why you need to start early preparation and have a good guide that is going to teach you so that your scores are going to come out very good high. Do you understand? So what's the first? The clinicals. And these courses, when you are done first, when you are done graduating here in Nigeria first, you go forward for, for house job and they start paying you from your work. Unlike other courses like your engineering, like your science, and like your arts. You see this one? They first of all pay you first, maybe you are done with school as you are starting your work, your life. Do you understand? So another is what to call your what your allied medicals. What are the allied medicals? Now the chief of all of them first is nursing science. 
Now, nursing science because every uh, lady or every female that is a science student wants to read nursing science. So nursing is very, very competitive as well. Very competitive because day two, quota does not exceed 200 or 220. Are you seeing that? Or 250. So and you're going to see students too, applying as far as 4,000, 5,000 students applying for nursing science. That's why in most school, nursing science has the same cut of mark as me almost medicine because the number of people applying are very old, are high. And, um, and if you're going to practice outside the country, nursing science is very good because they need more nurses, more, more caregivers. Are you seeing that? But there are other courses too, aside nursing, that are very, very good. Number one, another is also your what your pharmacy. Pharmacy is an allied course and it's also very, very good. They're good for internship, you get paid. All the allied courses are good for internship, except one, I'll tell you that one. Are you seeing that? So you go for internship and you get paid. Another is also to call your what your medical laboratory, what science. It's a basic level course too. When you are done, you, all these ones you can even start on your own. Are you seeing that? You get high chances of um, getting a job outside the country and you get paid. Maybe you, are, you, are, you, start, you are done with school, you start doing your job and you start getting paid. Now, most of the times, like I said, nothing has more value outside the country compared to what's in Nigeria. But a lot of people want to, uh, to study what nothing because of more caregivers are needed outside the, world, the country. Another is what we call your word radiography. This is a course that many people don't know about a lot. Radiography is also called medical imaging, also called the eye of medicine. Are you seeing that? This has to do with your CT scan, your X-ray, your MRI. It also has different aspects. Are you seeing that? Talking about your nuclear medicine and so on and so forth. This is it's called radiography. Some of you, are, when you say radiography, you say radio and graphic. You say people that repair radio. No, this is what eye of medicine. You can research more about it or you can also chat us up. I'll also tell you more about it. This is a course that you go for internship. Until you are done. In fact, they even pay for Nigeria. When you are doing your internship, they pay radiography more than nurses. Are you seeing that? But like I said, if you're going abroad, abroad need, um, if you're going to work outside, they need more caregivers. That doesn't mean they don't need radiographers. Radiographers are even few safe. Are you seeing that? They are few already because a lot of people don't know about this course. It's a good course to apply in this year jam. If you're in medical, if you don't have strength to apply medicine, you don't want to combat the, the, the population. That, this one, that, that doesn't mean, at least for this one too, you need scores like 270 up or though. Are you seeing that? So that you'll be, you don't need anybody. You'll, you'll be among the first people to be selected for the, for the admission. They are scalable courses. Are you seeing that? Now, now have your, your physiotherapy too. Very scalable. You go for half the job, meet you are done. All the allied courses are very scalable. Are you seeing that? So you choose one aspect and you focus on. We also have your word optometry. Now, when you study the optometry, you become an optician. Now, there is different between an optician and an ophthalmologist. Optician, when you study optometry, you become an optician. An optician is a technician that specializes in eyes. But an optometrist, uh, ophthalmologist, when you are an ophthalmologist, is a person that studied medicine, is now, is now specializing in eye surgery, is an ophthalmologist. Are you seeing that? Ophthalmologists, you first of all study, uh, you, uh, you study medicine and surgery, and now specializing in eyes, go and what, and ophthalmology. Just the way a person that read medicine and is spe uh, specializing in radiography is called a radiologist. Are you seeing that? It's called a what? A radiologist. But if you are a technician, you are called a radiographer because you study what? Radiography. Do you understand? The last among this study called your what? Your public health. Now, public health, they don't go for house job. Are you seeing? And this one, the cut off can be low because even if you have like 230, 220, you'll be working, be considered. But you can't compare them among all the rest allied medical course so if i were you i won't go for this i won't go for this because i need something that is scalable something that um that uh, that i can easily i'll go for internship and even if i want to transfer i want to get job outside the country that doesn't mean you can't get a job outside the country with public health are you are you you can't because outside the country anything you read you you want to get a job do you understand but for you to be i'm talking about scalable courses in the medical field Public health don't go for house job. They don't go for internship. So to me, they are out. Do you understand why? The rest now to call your what? Your basic medicals. These ones are what many people apply for. Because these ones are easy to get the admission. They are going to at least 200, 200 plus. You, are, you will get admission, 210. But these courses don't have high scalable value. Because when you are doing these courses, you are doing them because you want to go for second degree as to get to go for medicine or you want to be a lecturer. Do you understand? And, and a lot of people have this, a lot of, because those people that don't get medicine, 
the 3,800 are not getting medicine, are falling down to these courses. So, so a lot of people, it's questions like what anatomy, like physiology, your biochemistry, all of them are basic medicals. Like I said, the ability for them to scale in the market is not there, it's very low. Instead of you to apply all these course, put effort and either apply an allied or you apply the word in clinical course. Do you understand? We also have other courses too. Yeah, like your words, like your dietics and word nutrition. We also have your words, your pharmacology. Are you seeing that all of them are your basic medicals? If you are doing them, it means that you want to go for your second degree to do medicine. Are you seeing that? So that effort you used to study there, why don't you just put that effort at once? Prepare for your jam, sit down. Prepare for the jam, get a high score, and if you're applying your allied or your what your chemicals, are you seeing that? And again, one thing about applying a competitive course, it makes you get serious because you need to know that more people are applying that course, and for you to be selected, you have to sit upright. Do you understand? You can ask me any question, chat me anything you want, ask questions because young people need to be guided. If they are not guided, they're going to make a serious word mistakes. Now, I've explained the difference between the cadets, between your clinicals. Your allied and your basic work medicals. Like I said, if I have a younger one, I will not advise them to go for basic because it's it's like studying. If unless you have plan of going to get to go back to medicine, but it's like wasting your first four years instead of just using that four years to pursue an allied course or a what a clinical course where you have high chance of getting a job and high chance of traveling out and working outside the world. They come to do you understand? So I'm giving you. Choices, so make your choice. Life is all about choices. So settle down, think about it. This is what you need to think first before what writing your job. And this is all this also determines your preparation. And take note that LearnLift app everything organized for you in the app where you see down all the courses, all the science courses, be it physics, chemistry. You can follow it genuinely and not be among the 350 gang. That's why we are training students. For those that wants to go for the high courses, it is called the 350 Gang Series. Are you seeing that? So download the LearnLift app and start preparing. You're going to watch videos. You're going to get access to notes. Are you seeing that? All the notes, as each line of the notes, say pass question. Are you seeing that? So read um, video lessons, reach notes, as well as what practice, what CBT. Only tell a friend about the word the LearnLift app. Take note that if you know you are not ready to join the 350 Gang, or to be among the A plus gang in YEC, 350 gang for jam. Don't anything don't belong to our community. Don't download the LearnLift app. Don't watch our videos. It's only for those that are serious. We also have a what a WhatsApp community where we monitor people's academic progress. We also tell them anything they need to know, travel tips and the rest. So you can chat us up to join our WhatsApp or community. Take note that in our next tip or talk on. Uh, everything about jam, everything about career, we're going to talk about the universities to consider and why. Now, these are the things to look out for. Many people just apply. You don't even know. Most times when you have applied, you now say, oh, I wish I had known. This is not what I'm looking for. This is not what I'm looking for. That's why some people stay one, two, three years. So what are the universities to apply for this medical course I'm going to do and why should I apply them? I'm going to see you on our next talk show. On everything about Jama. For those that are following the learning, if I hope you are learning, every day must count. Remember that it is joined the 350 gang. I'll see you in our next talk soon. But from now,